Hello my loves and welcome back to my vlog. This is my first vlog in a long time and yeah, I'm really excited to vlog with you guys. I'm basically back in London. I've actually been here for about three weeks now, having to do quarantine and all that stuff. But yes, I'm finally ready to vlog and bring you guys along with me. But yeah, it's been a while. I've had a lot of things going on, so I thought I'd share with you um, what's been happening. Uh, it's November now. I don't know where the year has gone. It's gone by so quickly. I'm actually kind of looking forward to Christmas this year. Last year was very different with COVID, lockdown and all. But I think this year is going to be good. I don't know whether I'm going to spend Christmas here or whether I'm going to be in Lagos, because you guys know I'm between two cities at the moment. So I'm just really excited to be back in London to be able to vlog with you guys and bring you guys along with me. I'm also going to finish off an episode of Married to Medicine. I don't know about, but I love this show. I was watching Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and boy, did that get juicy. So yes, and I've also been catching up with um, Atlanta Housewives, but now I'm on to Married to Medicine. So yes, I'm also going to get down to some work as well, just briefly and um, before we head out to dinner. So yes, my loves, you're going to see what I've been getting up to these past two three weeks i think three weeks now that i've been in london so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this vlog don't forget to subscribe comment down below if you want to see more vlogs and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye Asparagus, and they're doing the Nigerian special, which I showed you guys here. And I'm really excited to try the burger. It says it has Fanta, candied bacon, cheddar, jollof sauce, plantain crisps, sugar spicy mayo, red onion, spinach and pickles with homemade rosemary chips. Are you looking forward to it? Very yeah. much. Did you have suya? Actually, yeah. I mixed up some it actually doesn't mention suya. It just has jollof sauce with plantain chips. I thought it would have suya. I really did, but I'm excited for this. In my head, I was thinking that there was going to be pepper, suya, and, and everything, yeah. I thought it would be good, but I didn't expect it to be that good. And I'm so pleased I had it. So yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. It's called the Nigeria Burger. But yeah, like really, really good. So look guys, I even ordered a takeaway. <laughs> That's how good it was. So chunky. It's lovely. What's your name? Kezia. Yes. Kezia. Yes. Brian. Brian. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Cute. So, uh, hello again. Uh, so, here we have the first course. It's a warm salad with red lentils. Uh, lentils that we cook in a stove. Uh, with carrots, orange peel, uh, and vinegar, and then we have some prawns as well, uh, aioli in the center, in the middle, uh, high uh, hidden aioli, and then everything is covered with uh, sweet corn cream with mixed caramelized flour, which is a Mexican uh, flour. It's the same flour that we use to make tortillas, uh, so it has a very smoky flavor. 
uh, in the sweet corn cream. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. station it's a really cute eyelash place in bank I'm coming to get some lashes I want to get some full set volume lashes just so I can have that extra bit of fava forms I haven't had lashes in like over a month now but it's something that I regularly do especially for filming photos coming out it just makes like things easier especially when it comes to doing makeup my makeup literally cuts down in half when I get my lashes done and I'm one of those people you guys are going to see a snippet of it and in this vlog that when it comes to strip lashes I do not know how to fix them and they always had a way of just like sticking out so I'm going to get them done today how cute is this place it's all pink and yes I'm really loving it so I'm just waiting to go in for my appointment and then yes so I'm going to bring you guys along with me I just got my nails done yesterday you guys could see and today I'm rocking like a natural bun but yeah my loves um yeah so tell me now Can we find love? Can we go back To where we were All I want Is to love you Start all over Tell me now Hey guys, so I've just done my lashes Can you see? It was really quick, it took like an hour and usually takes like an hour and 30 or two hours sometimes, but yeah. <laughs> My broski, say hi, Matt. Hi. So, anytime you still try to decide what to order, there's so yeah. many good things on the menu. Have you decided? 
Yes, actually. What are you getting? Um, the yeah. sticky licky beef ribs. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm going to go for the jerk chicken. Yeah, they have so many amazing things on the menu. So I'm going to go for jerk chicken. It's only right. This is a Caribbean restaurant. So they have like a lot of the Caribbean classics like Jamaican, jerk chicken, oxtails, curry goat or curry lamb as they call it. I'm going to show you guys the menu. So here's the menu. So let me show you guys. So, so these are the past dishes, of course. They've got the classic jerk chicken, half baby chicken, a boneless jerk chicken. I love that it's boneless, so we don't have to deal with all the bones. And it comes with grilled fried plantain rice and peas, pepper sauce, sweet barbecue, or jerk platter. Now, on a normal day, I will go for oxtails, but I'm really in the mood for chicken, so I'm going for jerk chicken, or I'll go for curry lamb, curry goat. And they have this sticky licky beef rib, which my family is going for. And yeah, they have a burger section as well. And then pasta, salads. Let's see this. So I'm gonna order my cookies as well. Hiya! So yeah, we just ordered our food. I'm getting the jerk chicken, Nat's getting the ribs. They even have jollof on the menu. So we'll have to try that next time. But one thing I like about it is I play really good music. I've literally shazammed like three songs already. So yeah, I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, today's been such a busy day, just like filming, editing, and working on food stuff. So it's nice to actually come and have a good meal. I found them like on Instagram. They came up on my feed and I was like, wow, like the food looks so good. I have to check it out. And that was like a few days ago. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to do Sunday because it's less busy. And yeah, it's really nice. It's actually very quiet. I think we're the only people here, but it's nice. I'm going to show you guys around the restaurant. But apparently they just had a huge party here. So everything's like empty. We were supposed to sit at the front, but I felt like the lighting's better here. But I'll show you guys like the front section in a bit. Yeah. So this is the virgin strawberry potato. Digging in, and the food is so good. I'm living for the jerk chicken. The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese. Where's my fork? But it's so good, guys. And I'm glad I came. I am. And I think that a lot of people will like this. But the jerk was seasoned very well. And it had the right amount of spice. So you can choose like barbecue jerk. Or you can go for like spicy jerk. But I want the spice because you know I like my pepper guys. But it was flavoured so well. It was juicy. And I love the fact that it's also boneless as well. So it's quite easy to slice it without having to worry about the bones. But yeah, this mac and cheese. I need to get the recipe. It's so good. Yeah, guys. Thank you so much. So, yeah. We're going to wrap up and we're going to head home. And then I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow. Or in my next vlog. Bye.